Hey, you're just in time to join us for our Pro Gym Back Workout. Clark and I are warming up our backs with a few sets of pull-ups. Clark's using an overhand grip. This is an excellent exercise to warm up the arms and the back. You can really see it working in through here. He has tremendous development in the back muscles. One more. Good. Come on, up. Great. Right. Okay. What do you say now? Uh, let's move on to our next exercise, seated rows. I love those. Seated rows, what a great back workout. Okay, I've done it on 50. I'm using the close grip. If you need a spot, just let me know. This is one a lot of people perform wrong. You see Keanu's keeping pressed up against the pad, elbows back, and squeezing the chest. This is a good place to spot right here. Come on. Elbows back and squeeze, squeeze, and one more. Come on. Awesome. Your turn. Remember, in between sets, it's a good idea to stretch out your back. You can use an overhand grip, grabbing onto one of the cables and stretching. Feels nice. Okay. Clark needed a spot. I could be right here. Notice here, a key point is he's extending his arms. He's straightening his arms, stretching out the lats. Perfect. Okay. Okay, do my last set here. Yeah, the different grips confuse a lot of people. A lot of people will ask me, Kiana, which grip should I use? It, it's, it just changes the exercise just a little bit. This thing's working her whole back. Getting a lot of the lat muscle, rear delts even, like we're gonna move on to in a little bit. Come on. Squeeze. Breathing the whole time she's doing the exercise. It's really important to keep breathing, not holding your breath at all. Whew. Feels good. Okay, wow. next exercise, pull downs for the lats. I, pull, I do these to the front, Kiana. Yeah. I just kind of lean back just a little bit and pull them down to my chest, elbows back. You have a lot in common because I do them that way too. Really? Yeah. Wow. What sign are you? Libra. <laughs> I'm Pisces. <laughs> okay, let's go. Good. Notice he's holding it down for a beat, squeezing the lats. This will help add a nice V tapered shape to your back. Adds width. <sighs> One more. Good. You know, on all these exercises, Keanu, they have little descriptions on how to do them. So sometimes if I'm in a gym and I don't, if I'm not familiar with the machine, uh -huh. I'll read the description to find out how to do it. That's a good idea. Plus yeah, they I mean, have the diagrams to tell you which muscles are being exactly. trained. And that's what they're there for. A lot of people are embarrassed to read it, but that's why it's there. Come on. I like to keep my back straight, and I like to make sure I lift the bar up slowly. It's important, like you've mentioned before, the negative part of the exercise is just as important as the, the positive aspect of it. The contraction and the stretch. That's what really works the muscles, the stretching and the contracting. And the added resistance just helps tear the muscle down. Only okay, three more. Come on. Two. Spot you right here from the cable if you need it. And last one. You don't need it. Okay. Okay, let's move on now to back flies. A great way to finish off any back workout is with the rear delt movement using the cable machine. You know, Kiana, sometimes I do rear delts on my shoulder day. Well, that's a good idea. I see some people do it on back, some do it on shoulder. Because it doesn't really matter as long as you do it, huh? A very neglected body part yep, as well. For sure. It's really important these to lead with the elbows. Sorry. Come on. I like to work real lightly, complete range of motion, holding it in a T formation right here at the top. It's kind of hard to spot on these, so you're on your own. I yeah. just encourage you and motivate you to keep going. Come Double on. Double motivation will help. A couple more. Come on, Kiana. Squeeze it up the top. You can really see it working here in her back. Traps, rear delts. Come on, Ken, it's really working. Let's go. Squeeze it. Okay. Yeah, good set. Ooh, Excellent set. Feels so good. Put that on 20. 20s? Yeah. Okay. Great. It doesn't take a lot of weight. It doesn't. 20 pounds doesn't seem like a whole lot, but I'm telling That's you, if you do point. this exercise right. You want to make sure and use proper form and train lightly. Get the complete range of motion. And also get the negative. Notice he's letting his arms come together slowly, not letting the weights pull them together and using momentum. It's much more difficult to do this exercise correctly. Good. Excellent. One more. Perfect. Good, Clark. Oh, yeah. I love finishing off with this movement. Sometimes you can feel like a pretzel with this thing when you're putting <laughs> put the weights back. Yes, yeah, it's a great feel solved, right? Yeah. Thanks. Okay.
A lot of people are amazed at how light I train sometimes. Once again, it doesn't take a lot of weight to get the exercise to build the muscle. It's the form, like you see Kiana doing in the technique, squeezing at the top, and like Kiana mentioned, lowering it slowly down. Come on, Kiana, pull up with the elbows and squeeze. Okay. There you go. Oh, good. Okay. Yes, you go. Got it. Now remember, doing various exercises to strengthen your back will not only help prevent injury in sports, but also helps you improve your posture. Stand up straighter, you feel better, body's more centered. Symmetry is important, too. You mentioned this is a neglected body part. That's right. People don't think about rear delts when they train, but it's a muscle just like any other, and it Plus, needs to I be know, worked. Clark, you know, you, we were talking earlier, he competes in bodybuilding contests where they look at your whole body, everything. They don't miss a thing. Yeah, they turn you from a side angle. If there's no rear delts, you look flat. Can't have that. Can't be flat. <laughs> Good. <sighs> Come on, let's go. <sighs> Two more. Oh. <sighs> Oh, wow. Let me show you a slight variation that I like to do, Clark. This is what's fun about training together. You can kind of show your personal techniques that you like. This is another way I do this one. Palms facing my body, and I'll just pull up straight. Just a small baby movement. Yeah, you can see the contraction even a lot more back there on that one, because you're leading with your elbows. It's, yeah. Smaller. It's smaller it's movement, effective. but it's effective, right? Yep. <sighs> And I still squeeze right there. Huh. How's that sun feel baking on your back there? <sighs> Bake back. <laughs> you were working out, getting tan, working up sweat. Mind if I try your exercise you just showed no, me there? Sure. I don't want to do that one. Okay, feels good. So, palms facing in? Palms facing in, leave with the elbows and up. Good. Okay. Wow, yeah. looks great. Yeah, it is a short movement, but boy. Awesome. So if you want to develop a nice, strong back like Clark has, give these exercises a try next time you're in the gym. Come on, Clark. <sighs> Good old-fashioned pull-ups are one of the best back exercises. Warm up with three to four sets to strengthen the lats and the biceps. Try a few sets using the overhand grip. Start your pull-up routine by doing as many as you can, working your way up to three to four sets, 10 to 15 reps. Seated rows make for a more muscular back. Feel the stretch and contract the back as you pull the handles toward you. Wide grip pull downs give you a nice V tapered back and will add width to your lats. Keep the back straight and exhale as you pull the bar down, getting the complete stretch at the top. Back flies on the cable machine will give you added definition. Keep your elbows slightly bent, exhaling as you lift your arms. Coming up on Target Training, it's a beautiful day on the beach for a bicep workout. If you've ever wanted sexier shoulders and arms, join us for today's Target Training workout. We're starting off with alternating shoulder presses, weights up at our sides, pressing the right arm first, up for one, two, nice and slow, three, the tummy is tight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Slow it down a little. The complete range of motion. Sherry and Monica look great. It's a beautiful day at the Maui Prince Hotel in Maui. Let's do two more. Good. Counting them down. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, now let's drop our arms down and do an exercise for the biceps. We're gonna do bicep curls, palms facing out, curling both arms up together, and up for one. And down, two, good. Squeeze the biceps at the top of the movement. Four, five. Notice we're exhaling as we curl the weight up. Let's do five more. 11, 12, good. 13, 14, and one more. Okay, now let's move on to the side area of the deltoid. Let's start with our palms facing each other in front of our thighs. We're gonna lift up to shoulder height, lifting up for one. Notice we're holding it for a beat at the top. Two.
right about the back of the arm, which tends to get flabby. So we're going to do a set of tricep kickbacks facing beautiful palm trees. Right arm up nice and high, kicking back for one. alternating dumbbell presses. One, two, three. Now we're using light weights. Our goal today is to tone, firm, and shape our bodies. Good. Slow it down a little. Feel the resistance. Get the negative on the way down. Good, Monica. Good, Sherry. Whew, feels good. Work. Pumping our bodies up, we're getting a suntan. Feels awesome. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, time for bicep curls. Palms facing our viewers at home, curling up for one. Down, two. You contract it hard at the top. Performer is important, not how much weight you're using. Two more, and stop. Okay, time for our side lateral raises. Okay, both arms up together for one. Look in the side area of the shoulder, which makes your waist look even smaller when your shoulders are well developed. Five, let's finish this up. Six, seven, eight, two more, come on, nine, and 10. Okay, now that we're finished with that, I think we're gonna go for a little dip in the ocean. Put our weights down. Come on. This segment of Kiana's Flex Appeal is brought to you by Kiana Fitness Wear. Look great in and out of the gym. Your shifts come in and it's time for a great workout. Hey Flex Appealers, today I'll be training my lower body. My goal today is to tighten and tone my thighs and my glutes. This exercise is called a lunge. Got one leg up on the bench, my knee going directly over the ankle for proper alignment. Lowering down slowly, flexing the glutes on the way up. Three more, two, and one. Okay, moving on now from the lunge to the squat. Feet shoulder width apart, chin up. Squat down till the thighs are parallel to the ground and up. Push through the heels, exhaling on the way up like this. I love this exercise. I can do it in the gym, at home, or even right here in Maui. Overlooking the beach, my favorite place to be. Okay, start off with one set. Gradually work your way up to two to three sets, 10 to 15 repetitions. And a few more. Three, two, and one. Okay, now for a slight variation of the squat. This time, I want to put even more emphasis on the inner thigh and the glutes. Grabbing a dumbbell. Letting it hang, feet real wide, toes pointed out, knees following the direction of the toes, knees over the ankle, squatting down and up. This is excellent for the lower glutes and the inner thigh. Going down slowly, flexing it hard, right there. You can really feel this, it doesn't take much weight. 
10 to 15 repetitions, starting off with one set again, working your way up to two to three sets. Okay, five more. Four, three, two, and last one. Okay, next exercise is excellent cardiovascular uh, exercise. It's a good way to burn excess fat and firm your thighs. It's called step ups. Light weights in each hand, using a step, or a modified step, one foot in front of the other, back straight, chin up, exhaling. I do this exercise in my own home gym. I put on some music, just keep stepping. Make sure and contract the glutes. I'm not just stepping, I'm flexing the glutes, leading with the front leg. Now we'll do a change up, left leg first. Feels so good. It really gets the heart pumping faster, the blood flowing, the endorphins running through my body. Endorphins are feel good hormones. It's what happens with extended exercise. You want to release the hormones so you feel good and energized throughout the day. Do three more, two, and last one. My last exercise is right over here on the Nordic Flex Ultra Lift. It's for the hamstring muscle, which is behind the upper leg, or commonly called the leg bicep. I like to do this movement with my foot flexed, leading with the heel, contracting the hamstring, holding it for a beat, flexing it real hard right there. 10 to 15 repetitions, starting off with one set, working my way up to three to four sets. Five more, four, Three, two, and one. Right leg. One, two. Notice the front of my thigh never leaves the pad. My back is straight. I'm not arching. Just making the hamstring muscle do the work. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and 15. Well, there you have it, an entire lower body workout that you can do right at home. Lunges are an easy way to shape your inner and outer thighs right at home. Keep your knee above your ankle, squeezing the glutes as you stand up. If you want leaner, more defined legs, try squats. With your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, lower your body until your thighs are parallel to the ground and return to starting position. Plie squats focus on the inner thighs and glutes. Take a wider stance and lower the body slowly, squeezing the glutes as you stand up. Step ups will shape your thighs and derriere. It's a great way to burn excess calories and strengthen your legs at the same time. Leg curls add shape to the back of the upper leg. Do three to four sets, 10 to 15 repetitions for sexier, firmer thighs. Conditioning is important for all types of cross-training sports. Jumping rope is excellent for increasing cardiovascular endurance and working on your timing. Not only will it help you in the ring for your boxing skills, but you'll also be in great shape. Jump in to health and fitness with Jump Rope. Increase endurance and strengthen your heart with this fun, portable workout. Jump higher and longer with strong calves. 
Calf raises using weights as resistance are excellent for adding muscularity to the back of the lower leg or calf muscle. The key to shape your calves is to get the complete range of motion. Lower the heel completely and flex the calves as you extend up on your toes. Strengthen your shoulders with flexible shoulder presses. This exercise is great for the entire shoulder area. Feel the resistance as you slowly lower the weights. Turn the palms out as you press the weights up. Strong shapely delts make it easier to jump longer and looks great too. Many people look to alcohol and cigarettes to feel better about themselves, but why not exercise? A regular exercise routine will not only improve your self-esteem, but will also help you look great. Besides, working out regularly will help you feel better about yourself so you feel sexier. So put down that alcohol, put down the cigarettes, and pick up some free weight so you can start feeling better from within. Keep on flexing. We'll be back right after this.